HelloFresh's fragrant aubergine curry is the subject of today's video. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is my journey to my goal weight of 13 stone 2. So here we go then, it's recipe number 5 and it's the fragrant aubergine curry with chickpeas, coconut rice and nigella seeds. Nigella Lawson seeds. Anyway, this is the classic menu, 40 minutes it's going to take us, so the time is now 5 past 6. Medium spice, it's 2.5 portions of your 5 a day and it's also vegetarian. Just a bit of nutritional information, per serving this is 685 calories and it contains one in five grams of carbs. Here are our ingredients. Chickpeas, aubergine, green beans, desiccated coconut, fresh coriander, Greek yogurt, chopped tomatoes, balsamic rice, onion marmalade, nigella seeds, Cassandra style seasoning, one onion, one garlic and some vegetable stock powder. Before you start, our fruit and veggies and herbs need to be washed before you use them. Okay. Basic cooking tools you will need grater or garlic press, colander, frying pan, saucepan and measuring jar. A grater, it's not quite fine. A colander, frying pan, saucepan, measuring jug. Got it all. Trim the aubergine then half lengthways and chop each half into four long strips, then chop up with width ways into three chunks. Peel and thinly slice the onion. Peel and grate the garlic. I've actually never done this because I'm not so keen on garlic. Clean and rinse the chickpeas in a colander. Chop the coriander, stalks and all. Put a large deep frying pan on a medium heat and add the desiccated coconut, no oil. Roast until golden brown, two to three minutes, stirring occasionally. Then remove the coconut from the pan. Tip, keep an eye on the coconut, you don't want it to burn. Meanwhile, pour the cold water for the rice, see ingredients for amount, into a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid. Rice and one quarter tablespoon of salt to cover with the lid and bring to the boil on a medium high heat. Water for the rice, 300 ml. Once boiled, turn the heat down to the lowest setting and leave to cook for 10 minutes. Alexa, minute timer please. Remove the pan from the heat, still covered, and leave on the side for another 10 minutes or until ready to serve. The rice will continue to cook on its own. Fry the aubergine. Meanwhile, wipe the frying pan and clean out and put back on a medium heat with a glut of oil. For my glut, I'm going to have a little bit of coconut oil. Lay the aubergine pieces in a single layer, then fry until golden brown and soft, turning a couple of times, six to eight minutes. 
need to cook the aubergine in a couple of batches then that's fine add more oil as the aubergine will soak up like a sponge Return all the aubergine into the pan and add the onion, lower the heat to medium and cook until soft and brown, 5 minutes. Add the garlic, the pasanda spice mix and half the nigella seed. Alexa, stop. Smell really, really nice. Look at this. Aubergine curry coming together. Stir in the chopped tomatoes and the onion marinade. Stir in the water, stock powder and chickpeas. Simmer until thickened, 10 to 15 minutes. Finish and serve. Once the rice is cooked, fluff it up with a fork and stir in the toasted coconut. Taste the curry and add the salt and pepper if you think it needs it. Serve the rice with the curry on the side and a dollop of yogurt, a scattering of the remaining nigella seeds and a sprinkle of coriander. Enjoy! That was us making the aubergine curry. Now I really do think it was a massive portion uh, and for over 600 calories I could have actually eaten half of that so uh, for those of you um, looking for uh, calorie control meals that could have actually, it was serving two but it's actually could have served four or of course you could have saved half of it for the next day. But I really recommend that, it's really, really flavour serve. Um, obviously you could have taken out the garlic if you don't like garlic. Uh, if I was making it again, I probably would have had a little bit chilli because I like things hot as well. But this is why I love uh, HelloFresh because it just gives you so many great ideas. Uh, if you like this video, give us a like. If you've tried the recipe or you've tried HelloFresh and you love things, leave us a comment, tell us what you love from HelloFresh. If you've tried this, uh, tell us what you think. Uh, and also remember, share this video for your friends. Uh, and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like a free copy of my diet plan, simply go to jodybunting.com and download my free plan. See ya. <laughs>